you may have guessed, this thing is uh, kind of wrecked a little bit, and uh, this will be the project of the day, is fixing this uh, wrecked and smashed Chrysler 200. It's probably worse than, uh, than I think it is. It's got an airbag warning light, has a transmission fault warning indicator, and it won't go into park. It only goes into neutral drive, and, and that is all. First things first, let's power it down. Pew. Do you know how I knew that that was gonna happen? If you do, let me know, because I didn't know that was gonna happen. Ah. The hood appears to be interfering with the fender. Let's see what we're working with here. Whoa, there's a strut sitting on the wheel. That's scary. Okay, let's just get the air out of this uh, potential time bomb here. Of course. Wow. Here, let's try a socket without the extension. No. Escalating to larger duck and ducks. Yeah, 80 foot-pounds. Sure. Give it back to me. Pete's version better. Now that, some pretty good destruction. We got into the brake line, bent the strut, and that's a nasty bend right there. Bent the tie rod, look at that. Uh-huh. And that strut took one heck of a hit, wow. Okay, well, let's start pulling this apart. You know, for being badged as a Chrysler, this looks an awful lot like some kind of a Fiat product. Interesting. Let's see you out of pee and... Okay, I think first things first, I'd like to get rid of this uh, tie rod. And we'll start to gain some, some mobility of these parts. <laughs> nice. Screw that back on for protection. And then... Okay, let's get the ball joint undone. thing sure is not interested in coming apart. All the pieces are binding against other pieces that are all bent. Nothing, nothing wants to come out. Split it, deleted. I got into the brake line. Look at that. I, oh, I screwed up. Now I gotta fix the brake line. Awesome. Well, you guys keep saying you wanna see me screw up. There it is. That's a, that's a, that's a screw up right on camera. That's it. I did that. I ruined it, broke it. Now I gotta fix it. Fail. You know, I guess it kinda doesn't matter because this line is, uh, is pinched and kinked right here anyway. So it still has to be replaced. Uh, now I've just left the left with no uh, no option to attempt to repair. So uh, I, I don't feel so bad about what I just did, but um, yeah, that was a total uh, rookie move right there. 
Oh. Anyway, got the tie rod off. Hot. Yeah, okay. Let's get the head side and hold that. Maybe maybe I can get the strut to slide out from the, the knuckle. I, I doubt it. Well, we'll see. Tap your tap this out. Now I may be able to unthread this with the tool, I may not. Let's find out. Okay. There, now you can see. There's a lot of pent up energy in this. I fear the moment when it releases. Gravity. Pry bar gravity. Okay. That was useless. Continuing with loud noises. Oh, it stopped. There we go. Okay, this isn't gonna work. I have it like three inches out and there's still three more inches to go. Uh, this is not gonna work this way. So I need to just take more bolts and stuff off. Maybe, maybe the control arm. Perhaps I can pull the control arm out and then it'll all become a little free and it won't be binding so much. Let's try that. Twisted metal. Money shot. Gross. You know, I did a Jeep Cherokee like this. It was also wrecked in this corner. Not long ago. This is all looking very familiar to me. Okay, so in order to get this control arm out, I have to get this control arm bolt out. But I can't get this out because this piece of this subframe thing is in the way and that's attached from the front side to this cross member, which is over here. So I've got to pull these bolts out next to lower this down to get this bolt out, to get this out, to get this out, to get that out. So let's get to doing that next. If I can, oh, you're gonna reach. Yeah, you are. Oh, 
phone's going wild today. That one's not gonna reach. Need wobbly bits. Or perhaps I need a tool that fits a little better. It goes the right way. Try again. Reverse click. Yeah, now we've got some excess. Okay, now let's see if this is gonna come apart. Good. Not good. come out there let's get rid of this junk okay now it's time to move on to the big nut looks like the little dimples got me I will undimple it Did I just break my gun? There it goes, okay. Mm. Oh no, I just broke my gun. Yeah, I, I did break my gun. It has ugged its last ugga. Okay, we've got some freedom. So I'm really sad that my gun died. I miss it already. There. Stay. give up I'm just gonna pull the whole strut and spindle out as one piece it's it's all being replaced anyway sure let's pop in as you could oh yeah I know that familiar little uh, Chrysler Jeep Fiat ring thing that they have holding the strut in I remember this from last time no no I got a bigger one Now I'm using the smallest tool that I've got. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. And this is what holds this entire strut assembly in. Come out.
Here it comes. I'm reaching over with my uh, my left arm and holding up the weight. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. Here's we will be installing brand new used junkyard components. It's a cost saving measure. Goodbye Axel. Yeah, we're not reusing that. This Axel's junk. But I think I'm reusing the rest of this with the exception of uh, tie rod and the sway bar link and the rest of it looks like that's going on the car hmm. except for this control arm that's got a torn bushing okay I'll just continue stripping away all the unnecessaries I'm off to the pile with you and same for you Axel These just aren't wrecked as bad as the other stuff is wrecked because body shop. I'm never, ever, ever <laughs> taking my parts. No, no. Is that the right size? Nope. It'll be easier to install the strut with the control arm off. And in fact, I'm not installing this control arm because the bushing's broken. So I will take these apart right now. And I need to hold the bolt from the other side. Let's see here. Yep. Okay, hold that right there. Should be quick and painless. And to the pile with you. Okay, next up is to get this piece of junk installed on that piece of junk. So uh, it'll be the same procedure as how I disassembled it. I'll just kind of hold it into place with the left hand and try to set up the little clippy thing with my right hand. Here goes nothing. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, here it comes. Maybe not. Hey, Peter. I need assistance, good sir. Can you help me out? I gotta stick the shaft in the hole here, but I, I don't think I've got enough uh, enough stamina. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it by myself. Hey, the, the shafts is heavy and it's it's a lot to handle, but I, I think you uh, you can do it. Jiggity, jiggity. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, we're a little off. Take the bottom. No. There you go, right. Bring it, bring it, look at me. Bring it this way some, there you go, okay. Bring it towards, okay. Push it away from you some. Okay, stay right there. We almost got it. Okay, we got it, you're good. You're good. Oh, I just finished. Did you finish? <laughs> All right. It's a huge pain. The oh, question what is. What the fuck is that? Two clips that go together and hold it in place. Yeah, this is what holds it in. They, you just stick it in there and then clip these little clippy things on, and that's what that's what holds it. Wow, that's not safe. It's fancy. It is safe. The engineer said so. And the the bean counter is it? Fiat, Chrysler, Dimer, Dodge, Mopar, Jeep. Agree. 
that that's that's acceptable okay angry pliers just to seal the deal here oh, they're too angry let's calm them down some with the adjustment okay that click occurred um need to rotate this so i can click the other side Hmm, didn't think that through, did I? Uh-oh. Now I'm stuck. Whatever, I'll clip it in right here. I don't care. Maybe I do. Oh no, what do I do? There, I'll just use my fingies to turn it. Nice and secure-like. There. Click. Good. And then that goes right there. Yay. Oh wow, I just noticed something. So yeah, so this is this is installed how it should be. And I'm looking over at the other side, which was not involved in a collision. And look right here. The clips are broken off. And this thing's just kind of hanging out in there dangling around. Weird. Oh, there's the other piece. Look at that. There it is. Hmm. I wonder, perhaps I'll put that back together. Okay, so we now have everything installed. Well, we've got the strut assembly installed on this side. It comes complementary with a uh, fresh junkyard spray paint job. And I think I'll just uh, get the axle in first, just to take up some dangly bits that are hanging out everywhere. Put that in and I need to pull this other half of the sway bar link off and I've got to get this uh, inner tie rod out. And that's kind of all I can do until I get a new control arm since the one that they gave me is uh, is kaput. So I, I think I'm done with this for the day. That being said, I do believe I'm gonna go ahead and make this a, a two part video or maybe even a three part. Um, I imagine this video is already about 30, 40 minutes, 42.5 minutes long or so. So uh, I don't want to run super, super duper long past that. So um, I, yeah, I've just made the decision. This is definitely going to be a two part video. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right now since it's the end of the day, end of my work, end of this car, and end of this video. As per my usual protocol, I would like to thank all you guys for watching my video. I certainly do appreciate it. If you like this video, I would ask of you to let me know about that down in the comment section below. While you're down there, don't forget to tap that like button. And if you're new here and have not already done so, hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future content. So again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, before you go, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. You know, I just, I can't. This is driving me absolutely insane. There we go. Good as new. Ready for the buy here, pay here lot. Uh, I can't stop. The spray paint has begun. Shiny. So shiny. Okay, I'm all done now. See you guys later.